The most common strategy used for machining vertical or near vertical walls on a part is the constant Z strategy. Now in this example we're using constant Z in combination with a selected surface boundary to machine the draft surfaces on this cavity mould. If we look at this toolpath in closer detail you can see that because the bottom of the draft surface is not exactly horizontal then the constant Z toolpath is fragmented. This results in many lifts in the toolpath which can be seen by the purple skim moves. One trick we can use to avoid these lifts is to use the swarf machining strategy. Now a swarf machining in conjunction with a vertical tool axis is a three axis technique which does not require a five axis license of power mill. The advantage of using swarf machining is that we can use the merge style cutting operation which will actually merge the the tool path from the top profile of the draft surface to the bottom profile of the draft surface. This will result in a nice smooth continuous tool path without any fragmentation or breaks in the tool path where it reaches the bottom of the draft surface. This ultimately means the tool path will run quicker and produce a better surface finish than the traditional constant Z method. The only limitation is that the surfaces must be regular draft surfaces which are ruled surfaces which we can swarf machine successfully.